She says she's a writer. The whole purpose of a journey is to get to the end. As a writer, you've crafted your story, you've expounded on the morality tale, or the events that had led up to this point, and then you bash your head against the wall. A lot of time, writers just don't know when to end. I've seen good books that have been completely ruined by the last chapter. However, there are a couple of points that you can keep in mind when writing The Inevitable End. Number one, you don't have to tie up everything. It's fine if you leave some things open. I mean, really, I don't care about the main character's mother, sister's cousin's uncle's dog who ran away. Unless, by letting him be found, means it's going to drastically alter the fabric of the time-space continuum and bring David Tennant to me. You do, however, have to take care of the basics. The who, what, when, where, why, and how. Once these things are explained, by all means, just stop. I mean, seriously, just stop. Which brings me to number two, rambling. You know what it is. It's basically what I do every week. You know, go on and on about nothing. Sometimes we as writers don't want the story to end, and it shows. There are exceptions. Take Return of the King. A good third of that book was dedicated to the winding down and the wrap up of the epic story. But that epic story spanned three novels, which pretty much justifies having a long ending. I myself, I like abrupt endings. Endings that make you continue thinking about the story. Ones that make you think, what the hell just happened? I don't need to know what happened after the plot has been resolved. Matter of fact, I get bored if it continues on for more than a couple of pages. So writers, please. Leave some things up to the imagination. Remember that your story must end, but resolve the plot through the tried and tested who, what, when, where, why, and how method.